Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith. This time, can we appreciate beauty in heaven? Some things about this question are pretty easy to answer. In Matthew 13:43, Jesus describes the just in heaven having great beauty, and the book of Revelation has some vivid descriptions of some of the things implied by that, but just because there's beauty in heaven doesn't mean we'll be able to appreciate it. The light of thy body is thy eye. If thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be lightsome. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be darksome. If then the light that is in thee be darkness, the darkness itself, how great shall it be? Matthew 6.23 This verse and others warn us against the dangers of beauty. So, how can we reconcile this with the beauty of heaven? Is heaven just beautiful in different ways? If so, how could it have all goodness? There are two components to this mystery. First, that beauty doesn't produce danger just because it's beauty, but because, as we've discussed in past videos, human beings are kind of lousy at figuring out what we really want. Beauty can be a wonderful good to enjoy and a sign of God's goodness to us. Or we can take it as the greatest good or a temptation to sin. Seeing beauty in that first way is good, but setting it up as an idol or being tempted into wickedness by it are sins. This is one thing that's different in heaven. In heaven, people are impervious to sinful temptation, so beauty can be much greater, much more enjoyable without there being any danger. The second component is the one we talked about in the last episode. Not only can beauty be greater in degree, but there can be more kinds of it, which more people can appreciate. All of this points towards the conclusion that these warnings about beauty in the Bible, and even more so in church tradition, are meant to be taken only in relation to this current life and not to beauty in heaven. Therefore, the saints in heaven can not only enjoy beauty, but they can enjoy it much more than we of this current life ever could. Next, can there still be competitions in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.